Hello everybody and welcome to Ticketmaster Studios. I'm Dave Archer. This is our series where we take a look at some of the players we think could affect the Falcons early on in the draft, maybe even into the second round. Today we're going to talk about the big eaters and we've got three guys in my mind that are in position potentially to be at that eight spot in the draft. We're going to start with Peter Skaronsky, the six foot four, 313 pounder out of Northwestern. Now, obviously, this guy's an outstanding blocker, but when you look at the stats, and that's the only way you can measure some of these guys, is sacks given up. He only gave up one sack in 2022. They face some very serious edge rushers uh, there at Northwestern. But he does a good job both in the run game and the pass game. I think he deciphers things extremely quickly, but the power he comes off with in the run game is very evident. Does an outstanding job of mirroring pass blockers uh, on the outside, played left tackle. I don't think he equates to a left tackle at the National Football League level. He's got 32 and a, and a quarter inch arms, short for an offensive tackle. I think he kicks inside. I think his starter, day one at guard, that's Peter Skaronsky out of Northwestern. All right, let's take a look at this. I love this guy. Broderick Jones out of Georgia. This guy's got a tremendous athleticism. Ran sub five second 40 at the combine. Ran 497 at the, and you can see it when you look at and watch his tape. There you see him out on the edge, domination block. Yeah, don't be a DB and get in front of this guy. But he does a good job in the run game as Georgia always does with their offensive line. But the athleticism really jumps out. He's got excellent feet to mirror edge rushers does a good job of getting down near the legs, but watch him get out in front. Look at this play. Gets out in front, dominates the edge. This zone running game, tremendous. Got long arms. He can be too aggressive, which most linemen can, but this guy's got every skill to be a dominant tackle at the National Football League level. Uh, Broderick Jones at Georgia. Let's jump to Paris Johnson Jr., the six foot six, 315 pounder out of Ohio State. Now this guy, uh, we saw him against Georgia in the national semifinal game. And he might have gotten away with a grab here or there, but this is an outstanding athlete, big dude at 6'6", got long arms, over 36 inches in the arms. Why does that make a difference? You, gotta get the, you get those arms extended, defenders cannot get around you. You also can get the hands down of those guys trying to block those quick passes, but he does a good job of mirroring, which most of these guys do. As any big guy, he can get overextended, he gets a little bit too high, and that can cause him some problems. But you love the power at the point of attack, and, and I'm sure there's a lot of Georgia fans out there saying, hey, that guy got away with a lot of grabbing in the Georgia game. He, uh, if you can get away with it, hey, it's not holding, right? But uh, I thought that, Pierre, that, that uh, Paris Johnson is, a, and is an outstanding player out of Ohio State. Let's look at some guys that could potentially be in the back end of the first round or in the second round. Osiris Torrance, to me, is a plug-and-play day one starter. Massive guy at the guard position, first team All-American, 41 starts in his career at both the guard positions at the University of Florida. An outstanding player one-on-one. -on -one. You don't see guards uh, dominate the way this guy does in pass blocking, let alone the run game. Certainly can come off the ball at his size at over 330 pounds. But other than his ability to sort out, there he sorts out the, uh, the, the stunt up front and does a really good job in the run game with his feet. But uh, this guy has all the tools to be a plug and play first day starter. He could go in the late first round, Osiris Torrance out of Florida. Taking a look at a couple other guys, Cody Mock, interesting story here. Guy out of North Dakota State, uh, we know how good FCS North Dakota State is. Now, yes, it's a level down from D1, but this guy's a mauler. This guy's an outstanding player that played out on the edge, played tackle in, at both the right and left tackle position for the Bison. We know how good that program is, and he, he was one of the standout players on this team. Now, I think this is another guy from an arm length standpoint at 32 inches that kicks inside. I think he's a mauler type player that would be outstanding at the guard. He tends to get a little high again, like a big players do. He's got to drop that weight down a little bit, especially when he gets to the National Football League level. That will not bode well for him if he plays high, but I love his ability and the nasty streak he likes. You see him here finish. He likes to maul people. That's Cody Mock, North Dakota State. Steve Avila is a guy that played at TCU, another one of these technically sound offensive guards, 6'3 and a half, 333 pounds, 332 pounds rather, 35 starts, so a lot of experience. And he played both guards, he played a little bit tackle and started at center as well. You talk about versatility at the offensive line position now. Here's a guy that can play guard and center for you. That's, that's a tremendous versatility knack that you love to have in these guys that come in as draft picks 
in, in that interior position, but he's a, he's a mauler, likes to come off like he does, like most of these guys do. Did a really good job in the national semifinal game against Michigan, playing against Maisie Smith, a guy we featured uh, as far as some of our interior defensive linemen. He did a really good job in that game. Now, nobody played well against Georgia. I thought he had some moments against that Georgia team as well. Those are some of the top offensive line prospects that we think could be in play for the Atlanta Falcons when the draft comes in April.